Good morning. My name is Houston Griffith. I'm a counselor here at the UCC. And today I'm here to talk on Mindfulness Monday. I'm here to talk to you about the STOP method. Mindfulness is, the, uh, is de defined as a mental state achieved by focusing one's awareness on the present moment while calmly acknowledging and accepting one's feelings, thoughts, and bodily sensations and it's used as a therapeutic technique. So this method right here, called the STOP method, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on trying to calm the body down. This is used whenever someone is feeling anxious or overwhelmed or having racing thoughts and they're kind of feeling all their feelings and it seems overwhelming. So this is something to put in your back pocket to use whenever you feel like things are getting a little too much. And we start by going through the letters S T O P. Okay. S is stop. That's all. It's you say it out loud. Pull over if you're driving. If you need that moment to calm yourself down, stop what you're doing. Just stop. Okay. T is to take a breath. It's a specific kind of breath that we're talking about. And it's, you can, if you've heard of box breathing, this is where it's, it could be that or the one that I prefer uh, personally is four, four, eight. Okay. Now the point of it is to, um, when you're feeling anxious and overwhelmed, our body goes into flight mode, fight, flight, or, free, uh, or freeze. And our heart is racing, our breath is increased. And this is a way to help calm your body down. You're telling your body to, that you're safe, that you're okay. So the way to do this, what we're going to do, if you're willing, is to inhale four seconds, hold for four seconds, um, exhale for eight seconds. So if you're ready, we're going to do this and we're going to do it twice. So, um, and if you want to close your eyes or keep them open or sit and relax, that's okay too. All right. So here we go. Inhale. One, two, three, four, hold. One, two, three, four, exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Now that you've done that, just take a moment to notice your heart, notice your breath. How are you feeling? How's your body feeling? Do you feel more relaxed, more calmer? If you do, good. One thing about it is when it comes to this breath, it's 16 seconds. You can do that. If you need to do it more, 32 or 64 or however many seconds you need, just breathe, slow down. One thing about it when it comes to anxiety, we kind of forget to breathe. We get into this just excited feeling. Well, when we're doing that, when we're experiencing that, what our anxiety is doing is it's increasing our heart rate. It's increasing our heart, our breath rate. And this is a point to slow that down and get in control of it. You're calming your body, telling it that you're safe. Another way to do that is through grounding. And that's the second, uh, the, oh, third, excuse me. Next section is observe. Okay. Observe your surroundings. Take note that you're safe. Whenever we're experiencing anxiety, we're not really in our body. We're kind of in this anxiety state, in this world that we created in our head about all these things that are going on. And we kind of lost touch of the room. And part of getting back into the room is grounding. So in a way of doing this is to observe. So name five things you see, four things you hear, three things that you feel physically, like my shirt on my chest, my shoes on my feet, two things that you smell, one thing that you taste. And this step is to see your surroundings. Notice that the tigers or whatever is not after you. Okay. And then P is plan and proceed. Okay. 
So these are two parts. All right, so plan. You've just had a moment, or whatever that moment might have been. You felt overwhelmed or anxious or stressed and whatever. Once you've gotten yourself calmed down, and if you have to repeat these steps, please do, okay? And if you go back to take the breath or have to observe the room again, whatever, if you need it, do it, okay? But once you've calmed down, plan. You just had a moment, whatever that moment might have been, what do you need? What do you need to take care of yourself today? Do you need to go call a friend, talk about it? Do you need to call a family member? Do you need to go take a long bath, take a long walk? Whatever it is, what do you need? And then go do it, proceed. Proceed with clarity and knowledge that you're safe and that you're okay. Whenever um, you feel overwhelmed, you can pull this out and you can do it. And I encourage you to. And I hope, and also you can come to the UCC if, it, if you feel overwhelmed, you need to talk. But all right. So I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Monday and thank you for coming in. I mean, thank you for listening. Excuse me. All right. Thanks so much.